want you to know this Black Friday, you can sleep in. Black all over the region. Retailers are calling this their super. 149,000 stores offering sales in the sales changing hands. The stores. The flu season is off to its earliest. It appears to be a previously unknown variant of the flu. Really? Suspected case catching many experts off guard. Today I was feeling like maybe I was. Back on the breaking news, leading with unconfirmed reports of a, a smallpox small outbreak. outbreak is a highly rehearsed scenario. And National Guard units converging There's on no a hospital trains. in Central Manhattan. Bridges are closed. It's a more zone. Smallpox is a very real more danger. More deaths than AIDS. More than a There's bullet. not enough vaccines. No. Let me stop you there. This is not a panic situation. An entire American city. Well, known as the Green Poison, Central Park has been converted to a mass barrier. Power outages, gas line leaks, fires. The government's We're expecting another night of widespread looting. The people of New York are begging. One word of time. Fire and health first responders are either dead. No resources available. They treat it like animals. It's not a job. We're not trained for. When we were activated, we knew the situation was bad. Worse than anyone knew. We are an elite, highly skilled group of embedded agents. They only call us when everything else has failed. We have no rules. We have no limits. Our job is to protect what remains. We are your co-workers. We are your neighbors. We might even be your friends. But when we get the call, we leave everything behind. We are the division. Intelligence system analytic computer is activated. All ISAC systems are confirmed online. Take cover at the marker to begin weapon verification. Weapon test initialized. Open fire at the highlighted targets. Primary weapon test successful. Weapon test initialized. Open fire at the highlighted targets. Sidearm test successful. Welcome aboard, Agent. This is Louis Chang, Northeast Section Commander of the Division. You have been activated because Brooklyn has become dangerously unstable. Isaac has updated us with your progress. Proceed to the nearest safe house for your full equipment loadout. Agent. I've confirmed that your fellow agent, Fei Lau, has arrived here. Check in with her when you get inside. You are now entering a safe area. We're losing this whole neighborhood. Rioters are moving through, in force, and headed this way. Put your people there. I see someone else got the call. I'm Agent Fei Lau, Division. Activated at the same time as you, part of the second wave of us going in. I don't know what happened to the first wave, but unfortunately, there's still lots left for us to do. We don't have much intel, and we don't have the luxury of failure. Not with Manhattan under lockdown and Brooklyn on the brink. People like me, and you, we're what's left to hold the line. With any luck, we'll have more to go on once we rendezvous with the commander. More about the situation, about who's turning the streets into a war zone. Anything that's gonna help us do what we're supposed to do. And if you'll excuse me, Lieutenant. Officer Hazen and his team are handling situation reports. If you're looking for a hot spot, that's who you want to talk to.
Agent, get that precinct back under control. If that precinct goes, we lose Brooklyn. Warning. Incoming hostiles to enter. Dispatch, this is Division Command. We've got an agent incoming to assist at the 84th, but all entrances are blockaded. Division, that's the best news I've had all month. Try the parking garage in the back. Got that agent? That's your in. Go get him. Morning. Additional hostiles incoming. Morning. Incoming hostiles detected. Hostiles incoming. Warning. Hostiles detected. This is bullshit. They could ID us. I say we take them out. We keep them alive to negotiate, for trade. They're no good to us, dead. <laughs> Get me out of here! Keep it down. Don't get them riled up. Play nice and give me time to get us out of here.
he's not here. Warning. Hostiles detected nearby. Incoming. Incoming. Excellent work, Agent. Brooklyn is stable again. Manhattan? Manhattan is another story. Let's get over there and see for ourselves. I've got more agents with me now. We'll rendezvous with Agent Lau and fly over together. Commander Chang out. Over there, there's a bar behind that building. Best whiskey sours in Manhattan. If we take this city back, I'll buy you a drink. Sorry, I mean, when we take it back. Uh, here it comes. The rest of us should be in this chopper. Can't believe it's finally happening. Welcome, Agent. Ah! Oh. 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 
Coming up on my right. Found out a little more about the first wave. They're all either dead or MIA. So this is up to us. That's why we need to get it together right now. JTF 68 to tower, visual Hudson. Yeah, two division agents on board. The explosion was their right end. Okay, clear to land. JTF 68. Usually you need some time to know if you can count on someone. Well, we're out of time. My bet's on you. It has to be. I hope to God I'm right. Welcome to Hudson Piers. I'm not sure what you're looking to get out of this. Everything behind this gate is a goddamn war zone. So who's in command here? Captain Benitez was in charge. He was leading up to the post office, but we lost contact when he left base this morning. If he's still ready, you'll the bike tomorrow. There's talk of pulling out. No one's pulling out. We're taking this city back. Get whatever gear you need. I'll catch up with you. Good luck out there. Y'all made it. Dispatch, this is Division Agent Fei Lau, empowered and authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 51. Whoever you are, we're under an all-out assault. I'm not sure how much help you... Oh, oh, screw it. We'll take anything you can give us. Now, how are you on my comms? We've got your back. Just try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. Alert. Patching into local JTF radio channels. Unit 43, be advised, you have incoming division agents as backup to your location. It's about damn time you get us some help. Get them here right now. Foster, we need support on the stairs. Martinez, move up on the flank. Go, go, go.
Dispatch, the situation outside is now under control. My official report, the division saved our sorry asses. Thanks for the report, Bravo Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild our base. Go on in and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, so I'm inbound. Let's do this. Air ventilation and purification systems online. Contamination levels lowered. Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors. There's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area has gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander, Benitez, is out in the field and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing, and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble patching us in. Without him, it's lights out. Hey, bad news. I'm not gonna be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life, but it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people, this is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, mm. you need to- Yeah, okay, okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. We've got a lot of hostiles inside, Agent. They're holding Dr. Candle and her staff. We need those personnel back at the base so we can get the medical wing functional. We'll hold here to cover your back. Then we'll escort the medical personnel when you retrieve them. Where'd they go? Here we go! If you patch me into the security system, I might be able to find Candle's location. Patched in. Let's see what I can find. Can you see the CCTV feed? Looks like Candle and her staff are being forced to treat their wounded. That's the only reason they're still alive. It looks like they've got people upstairs, in a restaurant. There's a lot of these guys, but if you use cover, you should be able to pick them off without making yourself a target. Hostile. 
shadows detected. Warning. Additional hostiles detected. Kendall and her staff are still upstairs, stashed in the kitchen at Kobe's. Word is that they've really trashed the place. It would have broken my dad's heart to see it go to hell like this. We used to watch games there together. I think it's better my folks didn't live to see any of this. But then I think about all the people doing their best to keep going. That's who we do this for, Agent. Go get them. Readings indicate this area is safe. Warning, now we're exiting the safe area. Warning, readings indicate this area is contaminated. To get to Kobe's, you'll have to pass by some contaminated areas. There used to be plenty of sick people being treated there before they got shot. So be careful. Now leaving the contaminated area. Keep your heads down and keep it quiet. Morning. Hostiles detected. The escort party's taking heavy fire from the roof. They can't move until you get up there and take down that gunner. 
All yours, Agent. incoming. the medics safely across. Candle and all staff accounted for. No casualties. We're off to a good start, agents. Wish I could have had your back out there, but I think we make a hell of a team anyway. When you get back to the base, we'll talk to Candle and we'll see what she can do for us. Well, look who it is. Thanks for getting me out of the garden. I've been in some hostile work environments before, but Jesus. Of course, it's not like this place is gonna win any prizes either. Antique equipment, zero staff, patients lining up out the door. This isn't gonna cut it. We're doing the best we can, Dr. Candle. Any suggestions you might have, I'm happy to listen. I know, I know, beggars, choosers, all that crap. What matters is beating this thing, but I can't do that without knowing more about it. Here's a good place to start. Sarah is pretty sure Dr. Gordon Amherst had something to do with the outbreak. God. That asshole. Saw him present a paper at Columbia once. He nearly started a riot. If he's part of this, I need to talk to him. Anything of his you can find. Notebooks, laptops, close personal friends, I need that too. And we need to talk about live samples and antibodies. You're gonna be busy. And you'll be? Fixing this. 
Saving lives. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll get started. Captain Benitez requesting immediate support at the Lincoln Tunnel checkpoint. These assholes are storming the blockade. If they blow the floodgates, they could put this whole thing underwater. for the tunnel! They're shooting everyone in sight! Jesus, it's like getting swarmed by locusts. Don't let them through! Captain Benitez, this is Fei Lau. We are division agents, and we have eliminated the threat to the perimeter. I'm patching you into our comms so you can direct support to where we're needed. That's good news, but we still got plenty of bad. Some of those bastards made it through when they're planting explosives on the tunnel floodgates. They're trying to get out come hell or high water. If those bombs go off, you know which one we're gonna get. people down to take care of that bomb. Cover her ass.
I'll disarm this thing. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your position. That was too close. They don't care who they kill to get what they want. Come on up, and I'll meet you in the control center. Jesus, what we got left. Glad to meet you, whoever you are. Hope we can count on you and yours this time, because... We got a hell of a fight ahead of us. Listen up! We got good news, and we got bad news. Looks like we got division agents for backup, but these guys out there, they just won't let...
Agent, your playmates have a sniper position to head. Keep your eyes open. Agent, my people say the threat has been eliminated. I thank you, my guys thank you, and the people of New York fucking thank you. I'm on my way back to the base with an escort. Let's talk when you get there. Good job, Agent. If they'd blown those floodgates, we would have lost a major supply line. Now Benitez can get back to the security wing. See you back here. Agent, we've recovered a disturbing piece of video footage. These rioters are goddamn animals. Lau says she's uploaded it for you. Is that it? Oh, no, let me call it in. Dispatch is car 24. We have visual on unit 55. Looks abandoned over. Copy that over. Mother oh! Christ! Shit, they're behind us! We got it. Just go. Now, now! Dispatch, this is car 24. We are over. Car 24, what's going on Fuck. out there? Dispatch, this is car uh, 24. We are. Oh, we're gonna get back, oh, back, back, back up, back up, back up, back up. Come on over. Captain Benitez even found some fresh coffee. Uh, I just happened to walk by what's left of Kerman's. So what we're responsible for is Midtown to Lower Manhattan, mainly because 
Nobody can get off of this island right now, including us. The biggest problem we have is manpower, or lack thereof. Right now, we got criminal elements occupying and controlling most of these neighborhoods. Rikers, cleaners, street gangs. Yeah, I don't have enough people to secure a block, much less maintain order and safety, so... Basically, these assholes are running around taking whatever they want and killing whoever they want because we got nobody to stop them. Which means we get the task of cleaning up these neighborhoods, so we can at least get food and medical aid to the residents. I don't know. I mean, an area this size, this many bad guys, I don't think you people can handle it alone. I mean, no offense. I just don't like the idea of throwing you to the wolves. Captain, we are the wolves. Right. Well, then maybe you can convince the Division to send more of your guys. For the time being, what you see is what you get. I can't believe I'm begging the Feds to take over my city. Any intel we receive, you'll be the first to know. Good luck. You'll need it. Sarah was using the site as a mass grave, which explains why the cleaners have targeted it. Avoid contact if possible, but do what you have to do to make sure Rhodes gets us the juice we need. That is, if he's still alive. Locating artillery relay. Target acquired. Sub-level three. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your position. Word here is that Rhodes is a bit of a wild card. He's got the skills we need, but he's a little eccentric. Which is a nice way of saying he's a paranoid jackass. We have intel that there are multiple cleaner teams on site. They're looking to burn out the infection, along with anyone who tries to stop them. Be careful. Potential infected! This project was intended as an extension of the subway system. They didn't get to finish it before the dollar flu hit. Then again... Morning. Readings indicate this area is contaminated.
now leaving the contaminated area. Activate power relay. Whoever just turned on the lights, you're either JTF or you're really fucking lost. Either way, thanks. This is Fei Lao patching in. We have help on the way, Rhodes. Whoever's down here, head for the secondary relay room. And when you see the dead bodies, get your masks on quick. Otherwise, you're dead. Secondary power relay. Ah, oh, shit. This job's gonna take more hands than I've got. You think you can follow directions? Cause I'm gonna need your help. Whatever assistance you need, we can handle it. Good. Because I need some... Warning. Now entering a contaminated area. Exiting the contaminated area. working. No more bleeding current is below Manhattan. A couple more hacks like that and we're in business. That shooting, that was you, right? Thought so. I think someone might have heard you. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your position.
Disconnect secondary power relay. Warning, you are now entering a contaminated area. Now leaving the contaminated area. Warning, hostiles inbound on your position. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your position. Activate power relay. There we go. Hope you can see in the dark, because I need you in the control room to wrap this thing up. Sooner we get out of this fucking crypt, the better. Hey there. Hang on a sec. Testing, testing, testing. Jesus, this thing is loud. Okay, okay. getting the work in the control room now. Just want to give you a heads up. It's going to get real dark real fast. Can't get power to the base unless I do a reboot or so. Everything's going to shut down for a minute. Well, fuck me. <laughs> they went top of the line with the generators. I guess Sandy taught someone in procurement a lesson, because these suckers can stand up to anything. They're a bitch to retool, but maybe we'll get lucky. What do you know? It's alive. Oh, crap. Clean it. I thought you took care of these guys. That's more of your people in the elevator. We don't have anyone else on site. Then it's cleanness, and I'm fucked.
clean, board is green, and we got enough juice to light this place up like Vegas. But I'll lock everything down so no one will come in behind us and fuck this up. You can't help me with that, so might as well get your ass topside. I'll follow you when I'm done. And that's all she wrote. Readings indicate this area is safe. Look, I don't do sentimental, but you got me out of a jam there, so thanks. But I know you want more from me than just warm fuzzies for saving my sorry ass. I'm like getting this shit all up to par. Oh, government standard, I see. Nice to see they're still keeping the bar low enough that even roaches can walk right over it. You want quality? You go private. That's what I learned in Basra. Oh, yeah. See, you can't just live on farts and good intentions. Power, water, all the bells and whistles. Not that you're the first one to try it. I hear a bunch of you people went missing when the shit hit the fan. Got some theories about that myself. My point is, when you're out there hooking up the city, poke around a bit. See what you can find out. Maybe the virus got him. Maybe the brutes got him. Maybe the city opened up its rotten core and swallowed him whole. I'd believe that. It's happened before. Fucking city got my wife. Miracle I'm still here, really. You know, they say a pessimist is a disillusioned romantic. Well, whoever said that's a fucking asshole. Go on. See what you can find out. I'll let you know which shit to hook up. Careful, this fucking city doesn't eat you, too. Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, Having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation, which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Readings indicate an echo nearby. You need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they'd... Draconian solution, but highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, agents. Active echo beacon detected. Oh, 
Oh, that's nasty. God, I think I'm gonna be sick. Hey, it's this or nothing. Morning. Contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously you're gonna try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So, keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle, out. Signature of explosives detected. Confirmed. It's Napalm B, all right. With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're gonna kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank moved somewhere safe. Better.
Okay, Agent. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves, yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. gender, ethnicity, general state of health on a 10-point scale, then label and group the samples according to... Excuse me, doctor, but maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the op is actually complete? You saying you don't have faith in your agent? Just focusing on the task at hand. Lieutenant, we'll radio the doctor as soon as the area is secured. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, doctor. We'll get it all worked out. I hope so. It's only the survival of the human species we're talking about. Copy that, Doc. Hotel, help. situation it's too late for these people here they're dead every one of them but it's not too late for us we do what we gotta do it might not be too late for the rest of the country so go to work
Agents, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. That should do it, Agent. Solid work. Yes, good work. Now, sample team, listen up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. One of the things that makes a virus lethal is adaptation. Rapid mutation makes it harder for antibodies to identify and drugs to kill. What we're seeing in the samples you pulled from the population at the train yard is the degree of genetic drift green poison is already experiencing, and it's significant, which means it'll be that much harder to find a vaccine. Agent, the cleaners keep starting fires and we don't have the resources to put them out. If we don't shut down their napalm production, we're one stiff breeze away from the entire borough going up. The thing is, they got their main production facility in the middle of their HQ, which is where you're going. Find it, close it down, and make sure they can't rebuild. Which means taking out boss man Joe Farrell. If he walks, he can take The place should be packed with napalm tanks and gasoline. Any tanks you find, just take them out, however you can. You don't want the cleaners to salvage that stuff when you're done. We've all seen the damage they can do. Turner, Burnett, I need you and your people to get out there and guard the perimeter. I got a bad feeling.
get to the tank! Chemical signature detected. Source identified. Explosives armed, ready for detonation. Now you all know what we're doing here and how important it is. You all know what's gonna happen if we don't burn this thing out. This people count on us. Our families, our friends, the whole damn world. So that's why we gotta hold the line against anyone. And I don't care if they say they're from the government. You know they're lying. If we stop them here, we can still save the city. We can still save the world. We let them through that everything we've done is for nothing. And we ain't gonna let that happen. No, we could see the explosion from here. Now, there's probably more napalm tanks in the building. Take care of them first, then see what you can do about Pharaoh.
indicate this area is safe. Warning, now leaving the safe area. What are you waiting for? Get in there!
exiting the safe area. Now entering a safe area. Warning, now leaving the safe area. Someone should have told Farrell that lighting up was bad for his health. With him out of the way, and their main source of napalm out of commission, the cleaners are going to be a lot easier to deal with. A lot of people on the streets are going to owe you their lives, whether they know it or not. Good work. Agent, thank God you got that Pharaoh character. We're going to upload a video we found that incriminates a whole lot of them. Makes me sick to see it. The Dark Zone's walled off, and with good reason. It's where the infection hit hardest, to the point where no one, not us, not LMB, not anyone, could hold it. Now it's a no-man's land, full of people willing to take their chances with the virus to get away from the factions in the streets. And what happens behind those walls? Well, very little of it is good. Okay, Agent, you're looking for any bills our pal Amherst used to spread his original virus strain. We know he used Abel's as one of his primary launching pads, so with any luck, there should be plenty of contaminated greenbacks lying around in there. As well as civilians. The store of the bigger refugee camps we've been monitoring. Not to make a whole thing out of it, but if you don't find some unmutated virus I can use as a comp, we may as well give up any hope of creating a vaccine. So, you know, no pressure. Warning. Temperature rising. Elevated levels of carbon dioxide detected. Uh-oh. Sounds like there's a fire in the building. I'll start feeding Isaac the structural blueprints in case you need them. Calculating route to emergency fire suppression system controls. Active echo beacon detected. My wife said tanzanite. Is that something you carry? Oh my god, tell me you don't love this watch. I dare you. I'm so sorry. My credit card is on the fruits. Not a problem. This is yours and 920 in change. Happy holidays. Morning. 
Emergency fire suppression system activated. System obstructed on upper floors. Manual override required. Great. You keep going. I'll keep digging through these schematics and tell Isaac where the overrides are. Remember, Agent, you need to collect any bills you can find with the original virus train. Check everything. Cash registers, charity donation stations, tip jars in the cafe. Any place you can think of that might involve cash. Nightmare. Let's go before those whack jobs find us. Object test negative for viral contamination. Object test negative for viral contamination. Object test negative for viral contamination. Let's hope the cleaners haven't torched everything in the place before you locate those bills. Even if they haven't, extreme heat destroys DNA. Over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, the covalent bonds break down, and the double helix starts unzipping like a cheap prom dress. One more reason to keep them at bay, Agent. Like I said, no pressure. Object test negative for viral contamination. Object test negative for viral contamination. Warning. Fire hazard detected. According to the schematics, there should be an emergency override up ahead. Detected. Bingo. That's got to be our virus infected bills somewhere nearby. Keep an eye out, but just don't lick them. Warning. Fire has been detected. I found another manual override for the fire suppression system. Sending Isaac the location now.
Not to beat a dead horse, Agent, but I need those bills. Intact. And room temperature, no crispy edges. Crispy means heat, means off comes the prom dress. And try not to get yourself killed in the process. Crispy agents aren't much use to us either. Morning. Now entering a contaminated area. Morning. Viral contamination confirmed. Keep your eyes peeled, Agent. We just got a report from JTF observers outside the building. More cleaners arrived while you were busy upstairs. Give them a wide berth. I know I've said this before, but I need those bills in mint condition, so to speak. Exiting the contaminated area. targeting portable chemical reservoir. Alert! Hostiles approaching. Alert! Hostiles approaching. Agent. Locating undamaged bills with original strain virus in that place was like looking for needles in a haystack. But damned if you didn't pull it off. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Oh, and Agent? I'm buying the next round. Assuming there ever is one. Thank you, Agent. That strain sample you secured told us a lot. I've prepared a report for posterity and the DCD. Have a look. Samples of the original green poison pathogen, the ones we recovered off the currency used as a primary transmission vector, let us take a closer look at the virus's basic genome. What I found was clear evidence the bug had been manufactured. There's genetic material there from a half dozen other pathogens bolted onto smallpox to make a more efficient killing machine. Hey there, I... Give me a second. Yes? Sorry, Dr. Kendall, but the sample's not producing results, did it? Did you run them at room temperature? Uh, you said... I said room goddamn temperature. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're within temperature variances. You know what? I'll do it myself. Just put it down and we'll both pretend this never happened. Hard to believe you can't find good help in the middle of a pandemic, right? Anyway, the good news is we are up and running on what you've brought in so far. Dr. Ellis taking over the hospital wing was a lifesaver. Now I can focus on research. My wife always says I'm better with pathogens than with people. My ex-wife, Bunny. Anyways, you just keep doing what you're doing. We are halfway to a blueprint for a vaccine, and with your help, we will get the rest.
Our number one priority is getting the Times Square power transformer back online before we lose power for the whole district. But I can walk you through the fix. I think. I hope. Jesus. First things first. We need to switch off the power manually, and by we, I mean you. Again. I know, it's counterintuitive, but you gotta trust me on this. Flip the switch. I swear, that'll do it. All right, power's down. Now you can work on that transformer without getting fried. Sorry, Rhodes. I need to commandeer this mission. Before the CCTV feed dropped, I ID'd the bodies in that room as division agents. Agent, your other tasks are on hold until we figure out what happened. Typical fucking Fred. There's a police substation nearby. I'm sending you its location. It should have the feeds from those subway CCTVs. Be careful out there. With all that gunfire drawing the Riker's attention, you're gonna have a nice, fat bullseye on your back. They won't pass up a chance at a high-value target like you. Additional hostiles detected. I'm gonna search the footage for those agents. You're cleared to get back to getting the power online. You sure she's done with you? Cause it's not like what I'm working on is important or anything. What we need to get this up and running again is a working fuse box. Warren Gate, that's the power company. They sent a crew out to do some repairs, but those never got logged, which means they never happened. Which means the parts, like the box, are still sitting on that van. I got a rough fix on its location, so if you're available... Get off our 
es un regalo. What you're gonna do with that fuse box is plug it into the transformer. I'll ID the spot for you. And if we're lucky and all this works, Times Square's gonna light back up like it's full of tourists again. Hope you lifted that right. You throw out your back toting that thing. It's not like you can file for workman's comp. Unfortunately, this ain't a switch and run. You're gonna have to hold out there for a second and make sure everything powers up properly. I'm sorry. It's an exposed position. The Rikers aren't stupid. They'll be coming for you. And after what you did on the way in, they're gonna be out for blood. Morning. Hostiles detected.
Additional hostiles detected. in business. The grid looks stable and the lights are on. The ones no one's shot out anyway. It looks like Times Square again, and that's going to mean something to a lot of people. They haven't burned the place down yet, thank God. I'd love to talk to one of these cleaners sometime, partially to find out what makes them tick, and partially to strangle him slowly while he told me. Amherst's apartment. It's across the courtyard. 
but it looks like the direct route is blocked. You'll have to find another way there. Send someone out to round up any survivors and get them back here safely. You're clearing a path for them, so just keep going. Hartman is upstairs. If Amherst is the author of the virus, he must have left some evidence. People like that don't destroy the proof of what they've done. Might have been looted, but whoever was in there probably wasn't looking for documents or hard drives. And if you get lucky and find Amherst there, bring him in so I can ask a few. We won't get that lucky. We never do. Well, I can dream. you found what we're looking for. It's high priority, so I've routed an extraction chopper for you. But you'll have to secure the rooftop before it can touch down. Don't play with fire. Get the evidence back here safely.
Keep it up, agents. We need that rooftop cleared so we can pull the evidence out. Normally, this chopper is for pickups from the Dark Zone only, pulling out highly contaminated material. For the current op, we'll make an exception. with the evidence is inbound on HQ. I know we took civilian losses, but there would have been a lot more if you hadn't been there. Excellent work, Agent. Okay, Amherst's notes were definitely a game changer. Such a schmuck. I always knew he was a shithead. I uploaded a report on it. Have a look. What you're looking at is the smallpox virus. It normally takes one to two weeks for it to incubate in a host, and it's not contagious while it's doing so. Looking at Amherst's notes, it's clear he wanted to change that, to make green poison infectious while it developed, and to speed up that incubation process to make it spread faster. In English, it's more contagious and it reproduces faster. And that's bad. Picking up a signal from inside the academy, Shade Tech, first wave agent signal ID, and it's still broadcasting. Incoming. 
LMB on site. Sounds fishy. See if you can find that missing agent, but be careful. There's no way this isn't a setup. It is close. I'll check it out for myself. I'm gonna look for the target.
Warning. Now leaving the safe area. Heads up, Agent. You've got an echo in your vicinity. Readings indicate an echo nearby. So I gave you a chance to work with me, and you decided you were gonna turn me in instead. For God's sake, you don't have to do this. You need help, you've gone crazy. Now you're back talking to the guy with the gun. I'd say you're the crazy one. Me, I'm feeling real sane about things. Hang on, I'm just finishing up here. I'll be right over. This can't be right. The video's showing division agents going rogue, killing each other. That's not... No. Just... No. Okay, let's just focus on the job. It looks like the shade tech used to create that echo has been hacked. I can't get a read on the agent's identity. If there's a security room near you, we might have a shot at IDing them. If I can upload the surveillance footage and they didn't wipe it.
Downloading archive security data. Look sharp. You're not alone anymore. Download complete. Begin upload. I'm reading first wave agents near you, but they're not responding to my hails. I don't like it. Welcome to the big leagues. None of what you found is good. To see agents turning on each other, abandoning the mission, it never should have gone down like that. God damn it. Be extra careful from now on, Agent. I think you might have just attracted some attention. Shit. You're not gonna believe this one. This guy's more nihilistic than I am. Mr. Rhodes, let's just let the agent see the footage and evaluate, okay? But yes, it's a doozy. Can't believe the bullshit that went down in the dark zone at the end there. I know. We had it. Everything I told them was dead on, they made us pull out anyway. And we left our dead behind. Yeah, we're not supposed to do that. Hang on a second. But we don't leave people behind. We're here to make sure this city doesn't get left behind. But the people we're working with, they're just fine with leaving all of us behind if it's convenient. Look, I don't agree with that big decision that's been made, but... I am saying it's time to leave them behind. Their model doesn't work anymore. If we're smart, we cut it loose before it drags us down. Before it kills us. You're talking treason. I'm talking common sense. Look around. There's nothing left to say. The JTF is trying to save a Manhattan that doesn't exist anymore. It is all about power now. Power and survival. They are done, but I am not. And you won't be either. Not if you work with me. Okay, Agent. Assuming the JTF squad's all dead, because, let's face it, who are we kidding? So, let's worry about the living here. You need to get those Rikers out of the building and away from my generators. And be careful. They're temperamental obese, and they're under a lot of pressure.
kill you. You can't hide forever. That's Here we go. I love to kill things. Y'all hear this? Good. Cause I got something to say. Lorraine busted us out of Rikers. Told us we could go our own way. Now the man's coming back here to shut us down. To lock us back up. You wanna die in a cell? You wanna let them get what they want? Well I ain't playing that game. They don't get to take nothing from me, you hear me? But me? I'm gonna take it all away from them. You all with me? These assholes got a death wish. You know how to handle explosives, right? The sniffer in your shade tech should guide you right to them. Looks like we got us a brand new dish, people. Might as well party now while we can. I think in this place might be real popular with the JTS. But you think we're just gonna hand them back the keys to the city? Wrong! Like you're almost really in charge!
Oh shit, that's right, you can't die yet. You shoot with the good guys. What's in the white ants? Except this ain't your movie, cowboys. This is our show now. See, this ain't about being on one side or the other. It's about power. You need it, we got it. And I can do whatever I want with it. One big fool, and that's all she wrote. Whole city's going back to the Dark Ages. Because if we can't have it, no one can. Lorraine, she's right on this. Ain't nothing out here but what you take for yourself. We took this, and we ain't giving it back. Because we'll flip the table if you try. With a nice, big boom. You leave us be. Everybody stays nice and warm tonight. You push this, and everybody dies in the dark. Explosives disarmed. Right, now clear those fuckers out. Once it's safe ish, I'll task an engineering team to do a proper mechanical assessment of the site. Well, looks like the cowboys got and defused all the bombs. Well, that's okay, because we got a plan B. Time to tear this place apart! Turn it all up! Smash it all up! Set this place to overload! 
Break it on, and we're gonna take this party straight to hell! That then sounds good. If they build up enough pressure in the turbine system, yeah, it'll blow the whole plant. Maybe the whole block. Okay. These old power plants have backup. Manual safety valves from before everything was automated. Find those valves and open them up to release the pressure. Now would be good. What did I just say? Only so long the generators can deal with a pressure build. You need to vent it. Power station and a chunk of Stytown Town gets wiped off the map. Additional safety valves detected. You vented a lot of the pressure, but it's still building. Master control room's the only place to shut it all down, so get there quick.
Welcome to the end of the world, assholes! Boys, mess them up! Generator stabilized. Well, nothing's exploded, and that siren stopped, so looks like we're good. I got an engineering team already mobile. They can finish up at the plan. Nothing left for you to do, so I guess you can roll out. You can't do this. You'll take out the power for the whole city. <laughs> Only gonna do it if we have to. If our place in the city is not respected. Because if we don't get a place, then my people will make sure nobody's got a place. And until then, we gonna live. I'm headed back to Lex. Keep this place warm for me. Or don't. Your call. This right here is the money shot, Agent. What he's getting at is that we've intercepted some audio from one of our esteemed colleagues. He's taking advantage of the situation. We've got to hunt him down. I don't get it. You think there's maybe enough virus going around right now? It's all about the leverage. If I've got my hands on the dollar flu starter kit, this green poison that someone cooked up, then certain people are going to be a lot more reluctant to take a run at me. A gun's a lot better for self-defense than a weaponized virus. Stop thinking small. Start thinking possibilities. There's no medical infrastructure anymore. It's the Wild West out there, but less civilized. Being able to turn certain death loose at any time I want puts me in a powerful position. And controlling the core ingredients for a vaccine, that's useful too. So you might kill even more people. Who's gonna notice? It's not the killing. It's the threat of being able to kill. And giving them the hope they might be saved. The way things are breaking down out there, all these different groups carving their own territories out of what used to be civilization. It only makes sense to have an ace in the hole. This is 
about taking the Rikers out at the knees. There's no one who can replace Lorraine Barrett. She's the one who organized the escape to Manhattan. They're holding three of my people there. If you can get them out before blowing the lid off, I'd be grateful. All right. Get them out first, but don't jeopardize the mission. We're going in on your heels. The jailbreak ends here. Incoming hostiles detected. Ain't much of a challenge. It looks like the odds are on our side now. Come on, no letting up. Oh, shit. Just dial, Eddie. Warning. Additional hostiles in band. Nothing to be afraid of. Whoever could drink the other one under the table lives. So this is a real good offer for one of you. It's very simple. Just a little friendly competition. <laughs> you each got a shot there in front of you. Drink up, man. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Screw this. It's game. a little game of in the axe on the thing. Baby, you'd survive. How about 10 points if you get him in the arm? We don't have a choice. Five for the head! Besides, what do you say? You're 20 for the head? Goes better than 30? Uh, depends on how deep it goes in. <laughs> you know, what the, what that song, that? 
The one about the bridge. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Sorry. What's the name My of that bad. shit? <laughs> Forgot to mention that. You know, that guy oh, sings on, it. Boy. I can't even, next shot. I can't even play go. piano, man. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't be shy now, boys. Every party needs some wait, music. Wait. I used to be in a band. I think I know the one. Follow my lead. Oh. Right song, wrong key. Please, I've got a family. You think I didn't have a family? You think I was born in Rikers? No, 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 I'm, ju I'm just saying. You, you don't have to do this. We're real people, okay? We're not just uh, symbols or uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> what if one of you fools finally knows what it feels like? I, I don't understand. Get on your knees, bitch! That's all you gotta understand. Please. Hey, boss. Looks like this little piggy's come to market. We're gonna have ourselves a Christmas ham? Now, the thing with ham is, you gotta know no. where to make the first no. cut. No, 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 wait, wait. Readings indicate this area is safe. Agent, the hostage is being held on the roof. You need to clear it out. You can do all the cop killing. Warning. Now leaving the safe area. the rescue. I thought I was a dead man there. They worked me over pretty good. Buried in our people. They're inside. Oh, shit.
Al here. I just heard about Ramos, Captain. Glad we reached him in time. Thanks for that. My people are getting into position to breach the hall. Agent, you're gonna want to unlock the maintenance access. The building blueprints show a security control room down in the basement. Exiting the safe area. You are now entering a safe area. Warning, now leaving the safe area. So far, so good. My strike squads are moving in. They'll breach the main hall on your signal.
Impressed, Agent. Tricky assignment, but you did what had to be done. Yeah, you broke your spine, kid. With the leader dead, the rest are gonna scatter. I don't think we're quite done with them yet, but at least now we can get these JTF folks back on the job. Oh, yeah. I need my people alive and out there fighting the good fight. God knows we can't afford to lose any more personnel. I owe you, Agent. Hell of a job. Huh. Looks like someone recorded a little pep talk from that Barrett character. She's a nasty piece of work, but it might give you some insight. Gonna load it up. One cut. One cut's gonna make you bleed. But one cut don't kill you. One cut just makes a scar. We're gonna fucking fight him. A deeper cut. We're gonna fucking fight him. We're gonna get him. We're gonna... I... <laughs> makes you cry. <laughs> But you can turn that cry into a roar, or you can turn it into a whimper. That's your choice. I can't take so you it. can choose to be a victim, no matter where you at. I can't take Top of the penthouse, in a prison cell, or even free. Roam in your own streets again. Complain about the cold, the rats. Complain about who's in charge. Some people want to stay the victim. They want to cry. I'll give you what you want. You want to be the victim? Mm. Ah! Well, I'll make you one. Uh, I'll make uh, you one. Me? I'm going to take what's mine. They say this disease is a tragedy. They say it's the end of the world. Oh, yeah. This disease is our teacher. Oh, hell yes. Teaching the uniforms that they done. Teaching us to rise up. They taken from us long enough. All now right. we take from them. They house us, their cars, their families, their lives. This is our town. And now is our time. Hell yeah. It's our time. That's right. We're all in. Let's, Let's do this. Oh yeah. Wipe them out, goddammit. You're about there. The comms mast you're after is on a rooftop, big enough that you can't miss it. Keep a lookout for our JTF text, too. Where you find one, you might find the other. Okay, what just lit up? Huh. Looks like a test dish. Checking for signal strength. Well, one of those engineers must have had a clue. Looks like he's running a triangulation. Overkill, but hey, 
Son of a bitch, another one. Any engineer that tries to set up a proper signal test on a New York rooftop in the winter, in the apocalypse, well, I drink with them. Now, keep going. The mast looks like it's in good shape. incoming.
Okay, three dishes. That lets us play a little game called Let's Triangulate. And that should let us finally punch into the LMB's comms. Get your ears on, because this could be good. Dead? They didn't break my gear. Thank God. Hello. Hello, anyone copy? This is John Reese. Oh shit, what am I doing? I need we need to get out of here. We need to go now. Reese, this is Paul Rhodes. We need that antenna patched and secured. And you just got elected to do it. You copy? Yeah, I copy, but these people, they're monsters. They'll kill us. John, John, I need you to take a deep breath and find your balls. And when you find them, finish the fucking job. Okay, okay. Stop me from getting shot at? I'd really appreciate that. Am I done? 
That was a shitty thing for me to do to you. But now you're done, and we're patched in good here. There are no hostiles in your area, and we're sending a squad to pick you up. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. You saved my life. Agent, we got some evidence about an interesting alliance you might want to take a listen to. And I'm sad to say we now know what happened to our helicopter back in Brooklyn. Have a listen. I think we need to modify the terms of our agreement. Why, Colonel? It seems to be working perfectly well so far. You get the support of my people and their gear with field intel you couldn't dream of six weeks ago. I get a base of operations, a place on what's going to be the winning side, and the occasional use of your manpower as needed. Not to mention the occasional surface-to-air missile. Or have you forgotten about that chopper in Brooklyn? Look, my people did the dirty work on that op, Bliss, and eliminating Division Senior Command was as much a benefit to you as to me. The last thing either of us wanted was a Senior Division agent directing a second wave of... Hang on, I'm getting feedback on the link. We've been compromised? Looks like. Cut in the link now. Now, don't you... You did real good, hooking stuff up. Almost gives a guy like me hope again. <laughs> well, that's a goddamn miracle. I said almost, Agent Lau. So what you found while you were out there is keeping me up at night. Looks like I ain't paranoid after all. I'm just right. I mean, here you got the smartest, most powerful, most weaponized agents in the world, and still, somebody goes off the rails. Yeah, well, they're not gonna win, no matter what you might believe. Oh, you think I'm not on your side, agent? You think I'm just a cynic who doesn't give a shit? I'm a goddamn patriot. That's why this shit upsets me. You know why democracy works? It's a balance. We don't just got rights, we got responsibilities, too. People don't realize just how fucking precious this shit is. Jury duty, voting. Oh, we can all get away from you in a second. You don't do your bit. Nobody gets a free lunch. Hell, this country is set up so that nobody can go run things by themselves. Balance of powers. And then some asshole decides to create the division. It breaks everything. All of the power, none of the accountability. It's the opposite of everything this country stands for. Of course it didn't work. So now, what do we got left? Good intentions. Hey, and us. All of us. And I've got a hell of a lot more than good intentions. We are gonna do this. And we're gonna do it the right way. I want that to be true, Agent. I do. But I don't see what makes you different from the rest. I just hope for all our sakes that you are. Listen up, Agent. You've got three objectives, and none of them are easy. One, shut down their comms relay. Two, knock out their tactical center. And three, take control of the on-site armory. Because I need those guns for my people. Now go to it. Morning. Sentry turret. Detected. I've seen those in action, they're nasty. Get in close before it recognizes you as hostile. We're gonna need a sponge to pop you up. says you're getting real close to that comm center. Careful they don't notice you before you want them to. Relay's gotta be on the roof. Probably gonna have some techie types up there to keep it running. He's talking about combat engineers. They're alert, well-trained, and packing gear on par with ours. The LMB didn't cut corners on outfitting their people.
no idea who you're messing with. Initiating data hard wipe. Overriding data. It's time to find out if the last man battalion can take the heat. Data has been overwritten. Overheating CPU. Disabling cooling mechanisms. Sequence complete. Server data replaced and CPU destroyed. Here's the thing. You're right on top of that weapons cache. Once you kick in the door, you're on your own until I can get back up in there. So watch your back, because it's going to get hot in there. Incoming. Remember, the last man's battalion cannot guarantee your safety. 
got some good news. Got backup moving on your position. Pass the first turret and moving fast. Please cooperate with any requests from an LMB soldier so we can ensure your safety. Roger that. The reinforcements just crossed the midpoint of the tunnel. Tight. Backup's almost at your position. Nice job, Agent. They're still doing the tally, but the weapons you secured should keep the JTF in the field for a long time. That's how you do it. You just kick the leg out from under these LMB mooks. Keep it up, and they're going down. All right, let's secure this side ASAP. I wish I could have seen this place before it all happened. Hit the jackpot, Agent. Got some footage of Bliss himself. JTF some kind of propaganda piece. Before. Guy sure loves to hear his own voice. What a ass. Check it out. Life I say could be your own. Soldiers of the Last Man Battalion, this is your commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Bliss. 
There were those among us who were angry when the decision was made to leave us behind. Leave us to die, as some people said. But I looked around at this city, and I saw opportunity. I saw what it had been. And I saw what it could be once again if someone had the guts to fight for it. If there were men willing to go out in the streets and take them back from the degenerates and lowlifes who ruled them now, to do what the cowardly government and its fearful, weak soldiers were too afraid to do, and to cut down all the liars and murderers and thieves who stand in the way of peace. We will not look back. We will not compromise. We will do whatever it takes to ensure a better tomorrow for all those who stand with us. And those who stand against us, may God have mercy on their souls. Bliss out. Tell me we got that. Because God damn it, I'm not doing it a second time. Agent, I detailed one of my people to link up with you in order to get you into the tunnels and under the wire. Once you're inside, kill the turrets, open the way for the assault. Everything that comes after depends on you. Hello. Intercepting radio transmission. Titan, this is Viper 1. Copy. Copy, Viper. Reporting gunfire in the station above us. Viper 2's not responding. Hold tight, Viper 1. We'll send additional squads. Intercepting radio transmission. Titan, this is Viper 3. We have hostile contact at the South Munitions Zone. Engaging now.
Patching into GTF transmission. We're taking heavy fire. The LMB are... Shit, what the hell was that? Let's take cover. Everyone take... Agent, a gas mate just went up in the crossfire. There is no more time. Take those turrets offline now. Turret 3 is running a little hot, but everything looks good. Any word on the tunnel? We think it was a gas main. Fire's under control. What about the secondary assault? We think the blast took them out. Viper Squad 2. Has anyone made it back? Negative. Riley's gone to check it out.
Accessing defense control system. Disable the perimeter turrets. You did it! The perimeter's down. Now, link up with the assault force and finish the sweep. Alert. Intercepting radio transmission. At Grand Central, we are under heavy fire! The turrets are down and we are outnumbered! Requesting support, now! Hold tight, soldier. Reinforcements are inbound.
JTF personnel be advised. We've got LMB reinforcements headed your way. Take up defensive positions and dig in. Incoming! We've got hostiles incoming! Find cover and dig in! Taking it is nothing unless we can hold it. You hear me? Alpha Squad, get down back ramp! I need you on those platforms. Move it! Radio transmission. Fall back! I repeat, fall back! They're dug in too well! All LMB at Grand Central, fall back to checkpoint Hector Alpha! We're leaving! You hadn't showed up. Grand Central, report. Sir! They're pulling back! We held it! Ha! Let's see Bliss shrug this one off. Good work, everyone. I'm damn proud of you. Hey, we just recovered a cell phone video of how those LMB bastards operate. It ain't pretty. I knew some of these guys. But it's good to know what we're up against. I want to join up with you guys, I swear, I, I know things! Then take him to the captain, see if he sticks. Roger that. On your feet, you. You will regret this, I swear. You! You there! Hey! Give me that! Of the last man to count. Oh, look who it is. Hey, hey, it's the conquering hero. Gotta say, I didn't think anybody could pull off what we asked you to do. Best part is you freed up my first responders to go where they could do the most good. Not bad for feds, huh? I've seen worse. Take a look. Every criminal group that we've been dealing with is on the run. They're not all gone, but there's a lot less of them out there. And it shows. Residents are feeling safe enough to come out onto the streets again. JTF was able to help Sarah get their tents back up and running. They've got people lining up around the block getting food and medical attention. We're finally starting to get some traction out there. Well, I ran into the guy who runs my neighborhood deli in Queens. He's actually talking about reopening at some point. You know, if I squint, I can almost see New York again. How about that? All right, that's enough back padding for one day. LMB's still out there pissing me off. I've got work to do. And so do you, Agent. Get to it. Hey. You got skills, pal. Agent, we're intercepting LMB radio chatter. It sounds like they picked up the immunologist's message like we did. Sweep the consulate and try to locate him. We'll let you know if we ID any likely hiding spots. Hostile 
Heroes inbound on your position. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your position. inbound on your position. Agent, I'm not sure exactly what to tell you to look for, but Chernenko will have been working somehow, even through this. So, notes, journals, anything like that, be on the lookout, okay? Your shade tech's picking up a lot of hardware. What the hell are the Russians doing with all that processing power? Under normal circumstances, probably spying. Now, odds are Chernenko's using all those processors to run some analytic models of the virus. Attention. Accessing network. Establishing uplink. We're pulling down his data. What is this, Doctor? It's mapped RNA files. I don't know for what, but it's Chernenko's genomic data by the truckload. Agent, I need that. I need all of it. Warning. Countermeasures detected. Establishing. Warning. Network privileges revoked. Where's it gone? Agent, the data's stopped. We've been hacked. Agent, whatever did that to you was Shade Tech, which means there's someone in your vicinity using Shade Tech, which makes them our new target. Reacquire that tech and Trenenko's data with it, anyway.
Processing security system. Security protocols deactivated. Security doors unlocked. Alert. Intercepting transmission. Coyote 1, this is Hornet. Copy? Hornet, this is Coyote 1. We copy. My mainframe alarm was tripped. I'm on my way in. No need, sir. The Russian's locked up in some kind of safe room, but he can't hold out much longer. We have JTF on site, but it's nothing we can't handle. It's not JTF. I'm on my way. Hornet out. People all need to leave. You are in violation of multiple articles of international law. Sir, I will tell you. You are not U.S. Army. Go away now! Can he... Can you make him hear me? Vitaly. Vitaly, it's Dr. Jessica Candle from New York. We spoke at Innsbruck after your talk. I know you, and you know my work. Dr. Candle, do you have my notes? Are they safe? Vitaly, it's okay. We're here to help you. Can you open the door? Okay. Okay, I'll... Ah! Vitaly, what's going on? 
That was a breaching charge. Move, agent. Accessing security system. Alert. Intercepting transmission. This is Hornet Boss. I got your Nenko and I pulled his notes off the server before the JTF accessed them. We're ready to extract. Good. How about our friends? They're close. Permission to engage? Granted. Let's see what the second wave is made of. Shade technology detected. Syncing with shade technology. Database accessed. Establishing uplink. I'm getting the files off that agent's shade tech. This will take days to analyze, but there's something here. Something scary. It's a good thing I've got this. Not that good. We had Chernenko taken out from under our noses. Eh, I've got his notes. I don't need them. At least not yet. Oh, there's so much good data in here. Hit the jackpot, Agent. Got some footage of Bliss himself. Some kind of propaganda piece. Guy sure loves to hear his own voice. What an asshole. Check it out. We've got confirmation that green poison wasn't bred. It was coded. Specifically, he picked up on his buddy Chernenko's research about modifying virus genomes in a virtual space, kicked it up a few notches, and fed the result into an industrial protein replicator. What came out the other end was a working virus, one he could keep tweaking to achieve maximum effect. By which I mean, dead people. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but I think we've got something. Thanks to you, we have mapped the genetic drift on green poison. Plus, I have ID'd all the aftermarket DNA Amherst bolted onto it. And thanks to those samples you picked up from the survivors, I was able to harvest antibodies against our friendly neighborhood superbug, and that let me lay out a roadmap for a vaccine. Here. Take a look. 
Normally, I'd take point on the team developing that, but they're a little better equipped to handle it in an arbor. And me? Well, I'm stuck here with you. Which is fine. God knows there's plenty left for me to do here. And with Chernanko and maybe Amher still out there, all it would take is one psycho asking the right questions. Tell me we're not gonna see that. Please. Dr. Dr. Campbell, Campbell, you're needed in the recovery, recovery ward. Dr. Dr. Campbell. Campbell. Still lots for me to do. Hey. You know we can't survive this again. So please. You've done some impressive work, Agent. The only thing that's made being stuck in here bearable is knowing that you were out there doing the job that I can't. The city's starting to pick itself up off the pavement. You can see it in people's eyes. They're finally starting to think about something besides dying. They don't even know the worst is still out there. Colonel Bliss's boys have proven more resilient than a swarm of cockroaches. You've hurt them, but they've still got the resources to terrorize this city on a massive scale. They fortified the United Nations complex, and they've got Chernenko, the Russian virologist that Amherst was working with. Now they're holding him prisoner there. Fascists in the seat of international peace and security. Funny guy, that Bliss. At this point, it's clear the LMB was involved with whatever happened to the first wave, and we know now that at least one agent was actively working with Bliss. We thought the last man battalion was scary enough, but if they've got access to division tech or intel, they could completely destroy everything we've been working toward. Hey. We both know what needs to happen now. You need to find a way into the UN and deal with Bliss once and for all. It's not fair to put this all on you, but... Fair died weeks ago. Go get him, Agent. We're gonna reclaim the UN from those LMB types. Step one is getting you past those guns and inside the walls. My people will draw the sentries' attention, mainly by shooting at them. That should buy you enough time to use breaching charges and cut your way inside. Everything's prepped and ready. We just need you to punch the clock. Clear the south gate and we'll begin the assault. We're through. There's access to the tunnels beneath the UN close by. Once in the tunnels, you'll find the breach site 200 yards north. Leave the JTF squad and go.
Target location reached. Deploy explosives. inbound on your position. Hostiles inbound on your position. Warning. Right Hostiles inbound on your position. Getting chewed up pretty bad out here. This is taking too long. We need those turrets turned around and the main gate open. Now!
Don't worry about the courtyard. The JTF can hold it. Take point at the General Assembly. Bliss is your target. Take him down fast. Bliss is your primary objective, but we believe Keener and the Russian are still in the building as well. I've tasked JTF squads to search for them, but if you see them, don't hesitate. Available for playback nearby. Bliss, the LMB, they're over. I'm getting our immunologist out of here. Engage the division personnel on site and muddy up their tactical read. We'll rendezvous later. Sir. Uh, sir? <laughs> Better hear this. Bliss just broke radio silence. We're trying to track him, patching you through. Flying son of a bitch, Aaron Keener put a knife in our backs. Anyone not on the wall needs to be hunting that traitor and his Russian playmate down. They are not to leave the compound alive. Am I understood? There is no wall, sir. JTF forces are in the building. Your helo is prepped and you need to evacuate now. Mother. Wait, I'm coming up. Got it. The General Assembly Chamber, go. Readings indicate an echo nearby.
We've got eyes on a helo over the main building. That's gotta be Bliss. Fuck, we missed. Agent, we ripped on Bliss, but his command staff might still be in the General Assembly. Head that way and engage! inbound on your position. Okay, now, we still have LMB in the building. I need you to... Sorry to cut in, Captain. Agent, this room contains any intel the LMB has on Manhattan. Find a terminal and download everything. We don't know what we don't know. Lady's got a point. Better do that. inbound on your position.
lot of interesting data here. Looks like the LMB had eyes on everyone. There's something weird here. I'll get Rhodes on analysis right away. The remaining LMB troops are breaking. It's all over but the shouting, so... Link up with our people in the courtyard, we'll see where we go from there. are giving up. We've secured UNHQ. It's a damn shame about Bliss. Last eyes we had on his bird, he was going half-assed and full blast heading due south. Probably gonna go to ground. Sir! Well, I'll be goddamned. We got a hostile bird over the courtyard. Get to cover now! Soldiers of the last man battalion, this is your commanding officer. Lieutenant Colonel Charles Bliss. And I tell you, we will not fall this day. We are soldiers. We have survived the virus and brought order to the streets. And we are not going to go down with a bunch of ragtag volunteers who think they know how to fight. Regroup and assault the enemy position. We're taking this place back and we will fight to the last man. Knock that arrogant fuck out of the sky. That helo took out the master turret control, but if you can get to each turret, you should be able to realign them manually. Put some heat on this battle. Agent, I've got reinforcements incoming. Keep them under pressure and stay sharp. inbound on your position. It would be pretty damn helpful if you get those turrets and flip them over to our side. Agent, you just killed the CEO of the last organized threat to Manhattan. Wasn't easy, and we lost a lot of good people, but you broke the LMB's back. Nobody's gonna be sweeping neighborhoods telling people join or die at gunpoint. Not without Bliss running the show. Still gonna be squads of them out there, but without the big man, we can handle them every day and twice on Sunday. 
Agent, we got a call from the commander of the Secure Quarantine Center over in the Tenderloin. It's where the JTF screened civilians for access to Camp Hudson and to work with the relief effort. We got 80 people housed there. He needs some help when you get a chance. So, here we are, Agent. We've made a pretty good team, I think. Done a lot for this city. A lot more than people thought we could. You and I both know this isn't exactly a happy ending. Our favorite homicidal traitor, Aaron Keener, is still out there. And he's still got Cherninko with him. Read Keener's file sometime. It's, uh, quite interesting. And we don't know where Amherst is either, or what else he might have up his sleeve, but... But there's hope. Dr. Candle's got the DCD on the road to a vaccine. You broke the LMBs back and the cleaners, and the Rikers, too. We took the city back like we promised we would. We're not done yet. As long as the Dark Zone's out there, we've got our work cut out for us, but we're on our way to finally saving the city. And with it, maybe something more. Not bad for the second wave, don't you think? Confirmed. Unidentified Shade Tech Beacon located. Active Echo Beacon detected. Well, here I am, Aaron Keener, the first wave's prodigal son. Normally I'd do this face to face, but I'm not 100% sure which way you'll jump. You act one way when Ms. Lao is watching, and another way entirely when you're off the leash. That's an interesting contradiction. You see, I think that deep down, you get it. You know, the old rules, laws, governments, those things died on Black Friday. But the feral PMCs, the convicts, the ones smart enough and good enough to take what they need, they'll survive. Me? I'm gonna prosper. Oh, you could too, but you took an oath, right? You got a duty. Those are both ways of saying that your conscience is fucking you. You ask yourself, who has earned a right to tell you what to do? Do you know how many agents died to hold the dark zone just for the brass to give up and put a wall around it? You don't believe me? You should check the place out for yourself. But the people you're working for, they're irrelevant now. Amherst changed how the game is played, and I have got the vision to win. I got Chernenko, I got a DNA printer, and a very interesting recipe book. I'm gonna write my own rules. You should think about getting in on this thing. I'll be seeing you. Agent, the information you found in that lab was the crown jewel. I think we can break this thing now. But we've got some more information. A voice from the grave. Listen to what Amherst has to say. What you're looking at is the smallpox virus, one of the deadliest pathogens on the planet. For centuries, it did a wonderful job of helping keep the human population in check. But times change, and sometimes Mother Nature needs a hand in improving her creations. Like, say, speeding them up a little bit, making them contagious when they should be quietly incubating in a host, or making them more lethal. I didn't come up with the approach on my own. My friend Vitaly is one of the pioneers in the field, and the idea has been around for years. Genome as data. You see, once we digitized DNA, we made it infinitely mutable. We could do a thousand virtual variations in the time it used to take to grow a one-lab-grade generation of pathogens. And we could pick the best, most lethal combinations. 
and make them real. That's how you make a killer virus, you see. Mix in genetic code from other diseases, and you move the sliders all the way up on lethality and virulence. The goal was a 90% mortality rate. I'm not sure my green poison is gonna quite hit that, but honestly, that's just details. As long as most of humanity goes, the Earth stands a fighting chance. Technically, technology is what's killing the planet. But that's not really the case. It's the greed that drives the technology. But a funny thing happened on the way to $100 genome maps and 3D printed plastic toys. Someone figured out those technologies could be repurposed, modified for the greater good. Me. Now, my virus is gonna do what nature's always done. Decide who lives and who dies. And if nature decides I die, then I die. If nothing else, I'll have a lot of company. Natural selection at its finest. Helped along by a little unnatural genetic manipulation. It's all data, really. Life's just a method of processing it. The same way I processed the smallpox genome on my laptop. And who's to say that wasn't the plan all along? If by some miracle, you survive green poison, then nature's decided you deserve to live. The rest of us shouldn't and won't. Godspeed. I'll see you in hell.